everybody. It's Bruce here with Traveling with Bruce. Today is September the 5th, and it's a couple of days since Hurricane Dorian has left the Bahamas, but the relief effort has just begun. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you for all your support, subscribing to my channel, giving me thumbs ups for these update videos. I really appreciate it. First of all, the cruise lines have stepped up. There's no question about it. After the hurricane left this area, left a lot of devastation in the northern islands of the Bahamas, the cruise lines immediately began announcing relief and assistance. First of all, Carnival is offering $2 million in cash relief. The Royal Caribbean, $1 million. Disney, $1 million. Norwegian, $1 million. And countless groups of volunteers, church groups, and other relief agencies are kicking in throughout Florida and the USA to gather supplies for the Bahamas. A bunch of water, toilet paper, foodstuffs, you name it, is being assembled and accumulated and it's being delivered to various collection points in southern Florida. Now, the cruise lines have announced locally where they want their the product delivered to them and they are uh, going to pack and deliver as many supplies as they can over the next few weeks off many of their cruise ships that are going into the area. Today, the Royal Caribbean Empress of the Seas was the first ship to get to just off the shore of Freeport, Bahamas, and use their tenders to bring supplies to the island. We're talking uh, bottles of water, of course, and, and other you know life-saving uh, needs. You can see an, an employee here putting stickers on the pallets that are basically for relief efforts. The uh, Norwegian Breakaway is coming in, I believe, today to a Stirrup Key, their private island. They're going to be dropping off a bunch of supplies there, um, and then that will be transported up to where it is needed to go. Uh, the cruise line, um, Bahamas Paradise Cruise Line, um, uh, is also doing uh, relief efforts with their ship, the Grand Celebration. They're uh, loading it up and bringing supplies over to, uh, I believe, Nassau and other areas in, in the Bahamas. Uh, you're going to hear a lot more about this in the next few days as cruise ships uh, announce more and more of their ships will make a, a definite uh, a stop towards the Nassau area, offload millions of dollars of relief aid and uh, immediately gets this out to where it is needed the most. There are a lot of uh, people in the NASA area waiting for these uh, items to arrive and they will immediately distribute them to where they need to go. Anyway, that's what's happening there. The cruise lines are stepping up and doing what they can to bring relief to the islands. They can't pick up the people from the islands and house them on the ships because the ships are full of paying passengers and the bottom line is the paying passengers are paying the cost for all this relief to get there. So it's a win-win in effect for the island. The island gets the relief they need. The cruise lines can still be in business, and it just keeps on working. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you liked the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe today, and we'll talk to you later, everybody. This is Bruce with Traveling with Bruce. Talk to you later. Bye for now.